Dr. Jen, an open-minded and fun place for women to explore their sexuality in a more comprehensive manner and start thinking about female sexuality outside the box. In the den today, we have a special guest, Charlotte Tenney, who is an herbal health educator who teaches comprehensive classes in San Diego at Shakti Rising, Miracosta College, and Cuyamaca College. She's also the herbal columnist for the monthly newspaper, The Presidio Sentinel and a founding member of the local chapter of the American Herbalist Guild. She often speaks for groups and special events, including annual appearances at the Quail Botanical Gardens Herb Fest, Scripps Integrative Medicine's Complementary Medicine Conference, and Herb Day at the County Fair. She and her husband created and sell a unique herbal tincture press. Welcome to the den, Charlotte. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really impressive uh, what you've done so far. It's awesome. We can't wait to hear what you have to say. So while this show here is specifically about female sexuality and sensual living, why do you think it's important for folks to make a connection between herbs and sexuality? Well, sex is all about good health. Without good health, you can't have good sex. Perfect. And so herbs are about supporting your good health. Okay, so much more bigger picture than probably a lot of people think. Okay, now I think a lot of times when people do think about herbs and sexuality, right away they think about improving libido. What are your thoughts around that? Well, lots of people want to know about an aphrodisiac. Of course, right. And they're thinking that there's some magic potion that's going to make them immediately wanton. <laughs> and it doesn't happen. Uh, basically, herbal aphrodisiacs um, are mild stimulants and they're good for supporting health and that is real important for making the body available for good sex but sex is so much more than the body sex is about your attitude about yourself your attitude about sex your relationship with your partner as well as how about how your body's responding absolutely now you just said something about making your body available to good sex what does that mean exactly well the the structure of an orgasm is that there's enough blood flow and a good muscle tone to actually have a contraction as a result of a lot of sens sensations and stimulation to an area. And so we have to make sure that all those body parts are working, otherwise sex isn't really happening. Okay, so it's the same idea, um, like Viagra, I know, is increasing blood flow. So you're saying that herbs and just good health in general, you know, would facilitate that for Absolutely. having good sex. Okay, so are there any specific herbs that you would recommend for women around maintaining their health and a positive sexuality? There are so many herbs to choose from. It was really hard for me to choose, but there are some that I think are my favorites. Okay. Um, oat straw tea is wonderful. It's really high in calcium, so it supports both nerve function and muscle function. Okay. And it's really good for your blood pressure. Then there's um, my absolute favorite herb of all time, which is <laughs> maca which is a, a food supplement that's coming in from Peru right now. And it helps the endocrine system from the hypothalamus on down all the way to the ovaries with oh. hormone production. It is great. So in like a balancing of hormones? Balancing kind of? and regulating. Nice. It's amazing. Cool. Another favorite herb of mine is Damiana. And it is such an elegant herb. You could take it as a capsule, but you really should make a tea out of it because it smells and tastes so good. Mm. And it, sort of a mild euphoria creating herb, um, oh. kind of puts you in the mood. Nice. Great. <laughs> uh, hawthorn berries have to be mentioned here because hawthorn regulates blood flow. It helps your heart beat slower and stronger and it helps blood flow out to the periphery and especially to the sensitive sexual tissues. And just knowing that something's in your heart you know, and it's making your heart better with your connection with other people. It's a nice spiritual tie-in. Oh, then I love licorice. I like licorice anyway. But <laughs> licorice, the herb, not the candy, um, is moistening as well as supportive to the whole body function. So it's moistening tissues all throughout your body and especially lubricant for the sexual tissue. Oh, so it increases vaginal lubrication or Absolutely. facilitates that? Okay. And cordyceps is another one that will work the same way. It generally tones the whole body, all the muscles, digestion, anything you can think of, and it especially increases lubrication in the body. 
nice. Anything else? Oh, eat walnuts. They promote walnuts? Okay. good levels of arginine. And if you're onto the arginine connection, you know that that helps mm -hmm. deliver blood specifically to the sexual tissues. And my other favorite, eat dark chocolate. <laughs> it helps your brain produce dopamine, which is the mm -hmm. thing that makes you feel like you're in love. Nice. Yeah, I'm a big proponent of dark chocolate <laughs> <laughs> myself. <laughs> okay, and so our final question is our randomly generated question here at Gorilla Soapbox. Let's see what comes up. <laughs> okay, have you ever engaged in role playing? And if yes, what character did you play? Ooh, you're asking for the secrets now. <laughs> yeah, this okay. is sort of personal. My husband and I were at an herb conference in Portland, and I planning ahead, acquired for him a clerical collar and shirt. So like a priest. Like a priest. So he would look like a minister. <laughs> and then I dressed like your basic fallen woman and arranged to meet him in the bar of the hotel and let him pick me up and take me to dinner. And we flirted outrageously in public for hours. And everyone watched. And everyone watched. And thought it was real. And thought it was real. <laughs> and it was so stimulating uh, later in the evening. It was that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. That is a great idea. <laughs> All right. Well, if you would like to learn more about herbs and sexuality, this is how you can contact Charlotte.